Okay, we're ashore for the evening concert at uh, Campbell Bay Music Festival. Just came ashore with my good friends, and uh, now we're gonna head up to the show. Should be just awesome. Jordy's coming up for a while because this is a dog-friendly venue. Hey, pup. Give me Jordy. Well, I've gone and done it. I broke my ankle. Yeah, in two places, both nasty breaks. Uh, at the Campbell Bay Music Festival on Main Island, had a great weekend. Crossing the beach up to uh, the field where the festival was, there's huge logs as there are on every beach in British Columbia. And uh, the last morning I took Jordy ashore to pee and slipped down between two logs and overextended my ankle, heard a nasty crack. Uh, Got back, I was traveling with friends, so fortunately I was able to have someone bring the anchor up because I couldn't have done that on my own. And uh, got back and spent a day in hospital and it took, an, it took a CT scan to find the cracks, but they're two long splits in the bottom of, I forget which bone. Anyway, so I've got this thing on my leg for uh, six weeks plus, zero weight bearing, which means crutches, which means hopping. Moving around is getting a little bit difficult, especially because my other knee, the one that does all the work now, uh, was in a car wreck in uh, 1999. And uh, in fact, I was in the whole car wreck, but my knee suffered and it's got hardware and screws and plates and a graft. So I have to be a little bit careful with that. Anyway, so beautiful summertime in Victoria has now turned into uh, lounging around and uh, convalescing. I suppose there could be a worse place to convalesce, but I'm gonna try and get a few things done. Cheers. Well, having scuppered my ankle, um, I'm going to have to try and do something about the anchoring situation. If I want to go cruising, which I do, I plan to go cruising this summer, um, I'm A, going to need some crew, which I think I've arranged for, and B, going to have to improve the anchoring situation. Uh, here I am on the foredeck, and uh, I have this uh, Banforth anchor. You can see it's covered with mud from the last time it was pulled aboard, which was moments after I broke my ankle. Uh, beautiful big old windlass which is fine but the biggest problem is deploying this anchor means picking it up out of the chocks on deck and handing it underneath this rail and down over this bow roller and launching it uh, which is not easy and then recovering it after you bring it up with the windlass which is great as soon as it gets to the water line you have to handle it out forward so that the flukes on the anchor don't gouge up the bow of the boat because the bow is almost plumb on this boat so it really isn't a very convenient uh, setup for anchoring. The slick setup is some great long bowsprit that sticks out and has a roller assembly on it and a nice self-deploying Bruce or CQR or some kind of plow anchor. The only problem is that it's bound to look really ugly on, uh, on a beautiful classic wooden boat like this. So I'm trying to find a compromise. I'm not quite sure what it is yet, uh, but I think there's something I can do. I'm just not quite sure yet. Cheers. All right, so I haven't shot much video for this project, uh, largely because of this. Uh, it doesn't make it easy to keep track of, you know, making clever videos. But I do want to update you on what I'm doing with the bow sprit. Um, I've decided I'm going to put only a single um, bow sprit timber on the starboard side of the stem. And uh, what I've done here is cut out a nice piece of uh, sapella mahogany which will do for that trick and I've test fit it you can see by some holes that are already in it and I cut out a notch in the combing and the bulwark forward for it to fit on the starboard side of the stem so I'm not touching the stem at all and I did a mock-up as I said with the uh, with the chain roller in place and with it quite far extended I've actually taken two and a half inches off uh, because uh, even where I had it before there was plenty of room for the anchor in the stem this is not gonna be nearly as bad as the project as I'd hope anyway keep in touch cheers so anyway, I've almost got this sanded up. Um, not really going crazy with it because in time I'm going to make a completely different setup with a, um, a much bigger uh, bowsprit that will have a hole in it and reach fit on both sides of the stem and come all the way back to be a new base for the windlass when I rebuild the windlass all in time. But this will do quite nicely for the meantime. Uh, got to get this sanded up, get a little oil on it, and in the morning I'll be able to bolt it on and from then on anchoring is pushing buttons. Oh yeah. Well, hello, this is a day I've been looking forward to for a long time. Uh, got all new batteries in here. Switch from the ugly uh, eight Ds that were in here to six nice 
a golf cart deep cycle six volt and uh, it's really neat because the big 8d cases that I had perfectly hold three um, six volt golf carts uh, the great thing about that so I have three pairs of six you know for 12 volts and just picked up a nice set of genuine custom marine tinned wire uh, battery cables for them so let's put this together cheers and so with a new anchoring setup and new batteries in place and a few more bits and pieces to get cruising a little more comfortable we finally headed out on our summer cruise first stop was the islands music festival in uh, duncan and we had a really great time there well good morning we're here in uh, couch and bay a fabulous building you see behind me is uh the wooden boat society's um, dock it's an amazing place a museum um, so we're just going to leave this morning heading up into desolation after a fantastic weekend at the islands uh, folk music festival and uh, I'm just spending the morning measuring uh, my anchor chain if I can swing the camera around here and road um, I have a hundred feet of um, galvanized 5 16 chain and 250 feet of a 5 8 braid braid seeming a bit deluxe for anchor road but that's okay what I'm not really pleased with is the uh, joint the uh, splice between the rope and the uh, the road and the chain. I'm going to try and prove that today. Uh, for one thing, it barely comes up to the hoss pipe, and it certainly won't go through the gypsy. So, if that uh, if we move from chain to rope while uh, letting the anchor out, it bumps up and slips out, and it's gone. Um, which, if you're careful, is fine. But uh, you want to be a little more a little more tidy about that. Anyway, so I'm going to see what I can do about that, and then. Uh, We'll be leaving here and heading off to uh, uh, Poets Cove on Pender Island, which I'm sure we'll show you some clips of. Cheers. Well, hello, day four here at Couch and Bay, uh, which is, you know, not a bad thing. It's a lovely spot, no doubt. Uh, I don't know if the camera will uh, pick up the beautiful view across the bay. Anyway, I uh, arrived here uh, last Friday for the uh, Folk Festival, the Islands. Uh, folk festival which was great really great and uh, just up on a farm towards Duncan which is only about 15 minutes from here um, so we're to leave Monday and had the engine started and I'm just about ready to go and uh, turn the engine off um, just to load up the dogs and it wouldn't restart star motors fried what had happened is that last time I'd started it just be you know 10 minutes earlier the um, plunger in the starter solenoid had jammed into the starter solenoid and kept the starter engaged. I thought I heard something funny, but with the engine out of the floor and the roar of a newly started diesel, I didn't really hear much. It only lasted a few seconds and I thought, ah, it's okay. Anyway, what it was was the starter staying engaged and the uh, ring gear spinning the poor little starter pinionette at a breakneck speed and trashing the starter completely. It seized the bearing uh, bushings in it and um, Anyway, it's finished. So, got it out. Thought I could fix it up and clean it up. Uh, got it to run again, but with the bushing so shot, it wasn't going to go. Long story short, I need a new starter. New starter for an old Perkins six-cylinder diesel? Not so easy, uh, especially where I am here in Couch and Bay. So, I've uh, called around the various auto electric places and the various tractor places, and uh, I think I've sourced one. And it took two days, and it's only going to arrive tomorrow. But uh, thankfully, I have some good friends that are going to help me out and uh, drive it up from Victoria. And in the meantime, I'll sort out a few things here. I'm doing a little more bright work on the boat, change some oil, and uh, fixing up some sunglasses while we're at it. Always seems to be uh, broken sunglasses. Anyway, cheers from Couch and Bay. Oh, it's day five in um, Couch and Bay, and uh, day two of the starter motor uh, drama. Um... Uh, Finally found a starter motor yesterday and ordered it, and it should have been delivered to um, Victoria, where a friend was going to bring it up to me in Couch and Bay today, but it didn't make the truck. So we're another day in Couch and Bay, which isn't too bad. I mean, it's a beautiful spot, no doubt about it. Um, but it's not really where I want to be when I want to get cruising. Um, not to mention I'm at a marina and therefore paying marina fees to stay here every day. Uh, reasonable, but still marina fees. So um, I thought I'd get busy today and I did a quick job of painting the uh, inside at least of the um, front windshield. Actually I painted the outside of the front part of the windshield 
and uh, just the inside of the side parts which I'll have to tidy up and do from a dock. Uh, I had stripped them, you may have noticed, and I can't remember if I've mentioned in a previous video, thinking that I was going to finish them natural like the rest of the wood on the boat. But it's Douglas fir, it's not original, and it was well made, but it's Douglas fir, and it just doesn't really look good natural. <laughs> There's a lot of people who are going to say Douglas fir looks fabulous natural, but it's not mahogany or teak. So what I've done is a few little mahogany and teak trim bits um, up here, and I've retained them, and I'll oil them. The rest I've painted. These side pieces, you can see a big chunk of rot down there. Uh, so the side pieces need to be replaced soon. Um, not this year, but really soon. And uh, But other than that, at least getting them painted with some uh, bright sides uh, brightens them up and they'll look uh, a lot better. Get the windshields back in and get them cocked tomorrow. Anyway, time for beer. Cheers. Well, good morning. Leaving Cowichan Bay after an extended stay. Got the starter in last night and uh, it's a beautiful starter. It's uh, much bigger than the one I had before. And uh, it spun up this old Perkins really quick. Started really pretty much on the button, uh, which is really, really nice. So this is it for uh, Cowichan Bay. It's been beautiful. And uh, we're on our way north up through uh, the inside of Thetis Island and then inside the famous Dodd Narrows uh, which will catch at high slack if we time it just right and then uh, into Nanaimo for the night. There's a gale warning for this evening so uh, we want to have a uh, fairly decent wind pull. Anyway we'll check in along the way. Cheers.